I got this uh, from another shop. Uh, it is uh, Kia 2013. I believe 13 and 14 are the same. It's a uh, Kia Optima. So uh, the problem that we have is the not that the brake light is on, but the brake light is not working. So that's a big difference between a lot of video on YouTube that show me that the brake light is on. So let me explain to you why the brake light is staying on and why it's not working. So there's a couple of things that you can check by uh, before you go through all of these, take everything out like the previous installer or technician. Uh, actually, I think he bought like three or four of these right there. Right there, this is a brake switch. So th this is the right brake switch, but there's a way to test them. I'll show you at the end. Uh, what you wanna do, you wanna make sure, I'm gonna remove that out there like so. And it is that light green right there. I mean, the green color right there, that should be 12 volt constant when it's open like this. So basically, this gonna stay up like this. And it's gonna, pushed in like this when the brake is like like so right now when you're not stepping on it now when you step on it it means it's an, a closed circuit meaning it should light up the brake so you know how every time you step on it it come out like that so that means the brake is on so the brake should be on right now now if the brake is not on I'm gonna go up front and show you with fuse to check so right now this should be power up 12 volt or light up see that it's on that green is the brake switch to the uh, back now this thing should stay on all the time right here see that that's a 12 volt that coming out from the fuse so if this is not on right here if this orange color is not on actually it don't have to be orange it can be different color it can be black I mean as you can see this other brake switch right there that I think he got this from a junkyard. This is uh, black and uh, uh, black and red right here. So anything on the bottom right here is 12 volt. So this is 12 volt on the left if you're looking at it like this. And this is when you step on the brake. Like, like it's going to look like this. I don't want to confuse anybody. When you step on the brake, it should be closed circuit meaning it's touching each other right now so that means this is gonna power up 12 volt to the uh, brake light so now if this doesn't have uh, if this is 12 volt and this this if it's open like this if it's coming out like this you step on the brake I don't, like I said I don't want to confuse you so if this is like this meaning you step on the brake this should be 12 volt now if it go back right here this green one is zero, reading zero. The light is not on. So that means, for example, now if, 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 if this is open like this, this is no 12 volt coming out, and this got 12 volt right here. The left side got 12 volt, and this doesn't have 12 volt. That means your switch is bad. So don't just be going by switch, and it's not the switch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this thing back right there. Actually, if you look at further in there, the technician bought, uh, bought one of these right there. I don't know if this thing work or not. I haven't tried that yet. See, if you step on it, it should come on like that. Let me, let me try that. Let me see if it's, uh, I'm going to take this switch back off. But before doing all of this crazy stuff, I'm going to show you if you got no power at the orange wire right here, you can go up front and open the fuse on right by the battery right here. Open it, take it out and look at this right there, this blue one right there next to the main fuse right there. You should be, if you count from here, one, two and three, the third one that should have. The fuse should be good. If the fuse is bad, change the fuse and you're good to go. And so let's go back to over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it back. You can to uh, do a, a couple way to make this thing work. So if I step on it right now, whoop! I'm put it on the green color right there, and then if I step on the brake. Oh shoot, 
I got a bad connection here. When I put this uh, T tab right here, it's a uh, not a good connection to the green up there. Make sure I hit the metal. And then I'm gonna step on the brake. Yep, see the brake is working. So the problem is, if the brake is working, you just come up to the back, right there. So the back one, you will look at, let's go look on from this side, okay? This orange wire over here is the green right there. You should get 12 volt from there. So my problem is if I have somebody step on the brake, this green wire, it doesn't power up. So if that's the case, I'm gonna go to three, uh, run the wire because there's a wire got a short somewhere over here. I don't know exactly where it's at or an open circuit, not a short. Could be an open circuit. Open circuit meaning it's not touching each other. Closed circuit meaning it's touch each other. It could be a short, but closed circuit is touching each other. So you can run a wire all the way back from here, all the way to the green wire, and then you can cut that green wire so that way the short it's not interfere with anything else. I have my brother over here taking the other side because I thought it was that. Uh, basically, it's a stop signal electronic module. It's SSED. Uh, oh, hold on. SSEM. Stop signal electronic module. So that should be right over here. If you take the glove compartment, it's this right there. This should, when you step on the brake, this should signal. So I'm gonna run that blue wire up here, all the way up here, and then tap it to here. I'm gonna put a fuse right there, just in case, but uh, like I said, you can do on the brake switch side, but I'm put a fuse just in case something happen, or uh, if there's a short somewhere again, but uh, Yes. So I'm gonna do a testing right there. Here's a green wire. I'm gonna do it. See, it's uh, green and then it goes to the plug. It's gonna be an orange wire. So I'm still doing the green wire right there. See, there's a green, there's a black, red, and then there's a blue. So I'm gonna tap this wire, a long blue wire, remote wire, all the way to the front. I'm gonna try to see if, if there's a sh uh, an open circuit from this to this. Trying to make sure I'm doing it right. Uh, it could be from from here the fuse, but I test all the test all the fuse. The fuse is good, unless this is bad. Uh, the previous technician did bought another one right there. You can see up, up over there, and it's the same. So it's it's it can't be. So here, I'm gonna put a continuity test right here. So you turn on to continuity right here. So let's say. Uh, I'm a touching one of these right there, and then I'm gonna use the. Uh, remember, this is not 12 volt at the moment. So if I touch this right here together, like this, and it make a noise, that means it's got a connection. So what I'm gonna do, I'm take this black wire, I'm gonna hook it up to the green wire where the brake switch is at. So yes, I found out from the switch to the back. There's no connection. So uh, to make it easy and simple for me, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run the remote wire all the way from here, from that switch. Uh, I'm gonna try to do, s like I said, it's not a short circuit, so it's an open circuit. If there's a short circuit, it will kill the battery. But I mean, that's the best way to do it, is just to run a remote wire all the way to the back, because if you're gonna have to do everything, if you go to a dealer and up with the dealer, they might end up telling you you need to buy this, all this wire thing right there because they don't like to do a half ass. I guess I'm not doing a half ass, but you can consider that. Uh, so I'm gonna run the blue remote wire all the way to the back and then uh, tap it and then I'm gonna cut the one end. So if there's a short from here to here or, or something, it's not gonna affect much on the, my wiring. Now, when I took it out, there's a couple <coughs> wire that's open, but I don't think it related to that. But I'm not 100% sure uh, who the previous tech is doing. Uh, they taped this up. 
I'm going to just tape this thing up. I'm not going to touch any one of these. I, I'm not, I don't have time to spend all this time checking out what's wrong with it because this is belong to a close friend of mine. All this blue wire ran all the way to the back and it does look a couple minutes guy if you can help subscribe to my channel to help me out with my new content and everything so help me out here uh, just help subscribe that all that's all I'm asking for uh, I mean I spend a lot of time trying to figure out what's going on with this car and uh, showing you how to do this so that's all I'm asking for is subscribe to my channel whether you watch it next time we need we just need more subscribers so and I'm doing a continuity so this green wire right there I'm gonna start from here like I said I did it earlier so you can do it from here strip it and then there's a wire that going out here that green wire that's I I got continuity on that so meaning that's the same that's the right wire. I'm gonna cut this side and use this blue wire that I ran from the front as you can see right here I'm gonna tape this up after I got everything done make sure everything works first before I even go to the next move uh, I sh actually I should do from this side instead but it's all right there's no water going in there uh, let's hope this is gonna work for us and let's hope that this wire connected somehow going from here to there so we'll find out let's see if it's gonna work I'm gonna look at that light right there when I step on the brake all right here you go. Uh, nothing. Oh, never mind. I haven't hooked it up yet. Zip tie the wire right there so that it's not going to interfere with the steering wheel right here. So if it caught on something, it will pull the wire out and then you have no brake while you're driving somewhere. That wouldn't be good. So I, take, I zip tie it up so nothing will interfere with this right here. So now, here we go. Wish us luck, right? I'm ready to step on the brakes. So, right here, one, two, three. Wow, we got brakes, guy. I don't know if the other side work or not. Got this side working for some reason. This side's not, this other side, the right side's not working. So we're gonna run the wire through here coming up here and tap it to here and I'm gonna cut this green wire up here that right here actually I'm gonna connect to this green up here right here I'm take a knife and shave this and run up here but uh oh yeah that's why this thing ran to the well if you're looking at it right here you can tap it on here this way to this green right here it works the same way right there just I'm gonna cut it right here and then take a uh, tie it to here and then tape this other side to the car here it is okay start the car turn on the light turn on the light I gotta talk loud step on the brake let go step on the brake again let go all right it works great uh left signal left signal Last signal, last signal. Last signal. Yeah, move pretty fast. Right signal. Okay. I'm gonna have him do the hazardous light. Emergency light. Right by the radio. Yes, so everything working. So we're good to go.